internet friend here at our. I'm here with another guest on Synergy Cafe, and her name is Omni Delano. Did I say it right, Omni? Yes, thank and you. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> See, it took me some practice, and that's what this stuff, this stuff takes after a while. You get going with it. So, um, we tried to do this earlier, and we had some technological issues because that's kind of what happens. But now we've overcome right. that, and now we're going to move on. So, I just want to get to know a little bit more about you and and like where you live and all that kind of stuff. Are, are you you're in the states here, right? Yeah, I'm in Oklahoma, which is why we had such technical problems last time because oh, right. of the storms that were coming through. Yes. But it's Oklahoma, and today's a new day, so it's bright and sunny outside. Yeah, so it's close enough to Kansas. That's where yeah. they have those tornadoes and stuff, so you get some wind down there, too. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so you, I understand that you've got a book. Now, Did you? is this your first book? It is. It's oh. my first book. Well, congratulations. And it's actually now the first of a six book series. Okay, cool. Got, so. <laughs> I think that's important to have something that keeps on going. Like who was that one that did Harry Potter? I can't remember her name. J.K. Rowling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you just get something going. You keep that ball rolling and people like what you're doing. So, right. so could you tell us, what's the name of your book? Uh, it's called Lily's Awakening. It's book one of the Elemental Guardian series. Okay. And it's basically about these guardian dragons that are trapped within their elements and have to be saved by a prophesized woman with a particular heart. And that, and, that is Lily? Uh, she's the first, yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the suspense <laughs> is killing me. Right. Um, and it's... I'm a, I'm a weird one. And so I two thumbs up, <laughs> right? And I, uh, I wanted to mix history and mythology um, together, and so the, throughout the series, it will go through. Um, Hello, kitty. Big disasters. It's this okay. is Smoky. <laughs> Hello, Smoky. Big disasters within our history and stuff, um, but combine it with mythology with my own twist on it. Okay. So everything you know about mythology, you kind of got to throw out of the window. Well, that even though I try to explain it to where the normal mythology uh, stories still sound true. Well, you know, everything when when you have something that is is mythology, everything gets determined by the own individual that's reading it. So the Greek god Thor is going to be different for you versus me. It may have the same right. name and sound, but the it's going to be perceived differently. So, so what, what was it that got you inspired to write this? Um, well, I had, I've always liked reading. I, I've always been a big bookworm and I've always loved to write. So I've always talked about writing a book, but never really had a story. Um, a solid one in my head because I, I, my head is full of random thoughts <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it's, I was in a really bad place in my life and I ended up having this dream that was so vivid that it's the story. It's, it's okay. from beginning to end. It is, it, it just came in a dream and it's kind of stuck. So, well, my wife does a lot of stuff with dream work. So I understand exactly what you're talking about. Cause uh, when we wake up in the morning, we don't sit and have coffee. It's more like she goes off and starts journaling about whatever came in last night. So yeah, I kind of get and it. And I, I rarely have dreams that I remember. Well, um, even more so than this. Uh, this. So I can see how this could inspire you to write, write it and document it. Yes. Yes. And since starting that one, um, I've had other ideas. <laughs> Smoky. <laughs> and a connoisseur Smart. of art. <laughs> That's very cool. I love when yeah, stuff like that happens. It shows shows that people are real people. I it's sort of like a studio audience kind of stuff. Well, Smoky, Smoky what's up? He has with you? like four <laughs> modes and he's in attack mode right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Yeah. So so do you have like a process that you go through when you do your when you do your writing, or is it just like spontaneous or how do you, what's your creative process? Well, I have to be alone really um, because I kind of zone out and I can zone out for hours. I mean, six hours will go by and I don't even move <laughs> except 
writing or typing. And I like to use paper and pencil. Um, I'm old fashioned that way, I guess. But, uh, you know, I have to just write the, the, the whole thing, the first draft all out at once uh, before I go back and start rereading it. Because of, once I go start going back and rereading it, it's like I'll never get out of one chapter. Oh, sure. And like so, about the paper and pencil, my wife is also really into that kind of tactile kind of thing. She certain pens, and to me, it's just like a pen. You just write. It's a big pen, but she's got to have these special pens that are made out of like deer antler or something like that. Are, is that <laughs> kind of why you got to do the paper and pen because it's a tactile kind of thing? Uh huh. Um, I don't know. It's just it flows easier for me to write it out because that's what I grew up doing is writing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we didn't have laptops and computers to type up essays and stuff like that well it seems like it's more divinely inspired if you will because you are scribing it with your own personality whereas if i push the d on my keyboard it's the same as you pushing the d on your keyboard or anybody else that's got yeah. an apple computer it's the same d whereas right. i might write a d different than you write a d so i think it's cool that it adds more character to it well that and as i'm when you when you know when you write it it just flows straight out of your brain and into the paper. Whereas when you're typing, you have to, you know, come out of your head just to spell out the word that you're typing when writing, it just comes naturally to you anyway. Um, I think it just, it, it helps creatively because I don't mm -hmm. have to pull myself out of my own story to, you know, why is the line turned green or red? <laughs> you know, right. I have to go back and hit spell checker on it. And, exactly. Uh, it's, it kind of goes with the flow. I mean, literal. Yeah. Uh, do and do so you print or write? All of that once I, I ch transfer it from my writing into a tablet, then that's a, you know, kind of a soft edit as I just oh, sure. transfer it over and go through spell checker and grammar check and stuff like that. But. Okay, could you hold the, could you hold the book up again so you can see the cover? Yeah. And off to there, there we go. A little bit farther to the your side there. Other there you go. Got it. Good image of that. I like it. Yay. So if someone wants to get the book, how do they do uh -huh. that? Is there a website domain that you can direct them to to, to get it um, from your website? You can get it on Amazon.com or Amazon Kindle. Um, you could also there's a a shop now link on my Facebook page at um, Elemental Guardians. And um, you can also, I believe there's a shop button on my website. Um, but there will be. <laughs> yeah, if not, there will be soon. Um, and you can also go on um, the Light Network, uh, my publisher's uh, website. She also offers a link there for it. Okay, so they could also probably just Google Lily's Awakening or Omni Delano. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a computer or access to it, you can go to any Barnes and Noble or you know Books a Million or any uh, local bookstore and ask them to order it for you, and they can. Sure. Well, who doesn't have a computer these days? <laughs> <laughs> well, before I go, I'd like to ask my favorite question, and then I'll uh, sign this off and put it up to the universe for people to find. But my favorite question is the big why question. Why are you doing this instead of being like a Girl Scout leader or a ski instructor or a farmer? Why did um, you choose to do this? Well, it has a lot to do with uh, a big incident in my life that I... I I found out I had a tumor on my pituitary, but they weren't sure if it was a tumor or cyst, but either way, it's bleeding on my brain mm -hmm. and causes massive headaches. And I've had a few seizures and um, other symptoms that make it impossible for me to work a traditional job. And my entire life, I have three teenagers right now, and I've been the main support for my family for as long as I can remember. And then I went from, you know, working six days a week and going to college at night to nothing and barely being able to do a load of laundry or, or, you know, cook dinner. Got it. That, that put me in that bad place that I was, that just 
I felt like I wasn't contributing to my family, even though, you know, I was still doing as much as I could at my house and it gave me more time for my kids and everything like that. But this, I, I kind of felt is the only way I can financially help for my family. Got it. Um, but it also allows me that time to be with my children. And I have, uh, also started a caregiving for my grandfather which about the time I got the tumor is about the time he really started needing somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, So So it's almost signing as a blessing in disguise. I was just going to say, it it almost seems like it's, it's something that's divinely guided to give you more free time to do what you got to do. So I think it's going to be interesting to see your other books and how they progress and who need more dreams and stuff that might be coming in. So, Oh, yeah. I have another one that I'm working on because I, I tend to work on two books at the same time to get my head out of one into another. Um, but it's I, it's a standalone um, that I really think is going to get into people's minds. Cool. <laughs> so uh, it'll be called Moments and just keep an eye out for that one because I, I think it'll be it'll be one to talk about. Okay, well, perfect. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe, and I'm going to uh, beam this up. Absolutely, and I'm looking forward to seeing some others. So if anybody needs to get a hold of Omni Delano, just Google those words and you'll find her, okay? All right. Thank Thank you. you very much. Peace. Have a good night.